So dropping in is probably going to be one of the first things you learn how to do on a skateboard if you have access to ramp. <laughs> access to ramp. <laughs> access to ramp. <laughs> dropping in is something that you learn typically very early on in skating. It kind of is the basis for skating any kind of transition. It's where you confront the idea and situation of skating against gravity. Here in this video, I'm gonna do everything in my power to help you not slam your first time. Dropping in looks easy when observing it. The first time you get on top of the ramp, it's a completely different experience. Oh yeah, I could probably do that. That ramp is like two or three feet high. And then you get up there and you're looking down and all of your confidence is stripped away. It's a pretty surreal moment and it's very humbling once you're up there. So logically, you know that to lean forward is the safest bet, but your instincts almost want you to lean back to save yourself from falling. And that is literally the worst thing that you can do. The reason I was so scared was because when I would drop in, I was afraid that my nose was literally just gonna drop and dive straight to the flat bottom. And that's why people tend to lean back because they're scared that they're just gonna slam forward. It's very unlikely that you're gonna slam forward. Most people slip backwards. So you want to lean forward when you're dropping in. That is your safest bet. basic premise of it is you put your tail on the coping with your back foot holding the tail at the top of the deck. You put your front foot over the front bolts. Now when you first go to drop in, I like to tend to think like just put all your weight on your front foot. There should be barely any weight at all on your back foot. Your back foot's just there to just ride the skateboard. You're not actually like putting any pressure on your back foot. So stop your front wheels down. Whenever I teach like little kids how to do this, I always tell them to pretend that there's like a, a piece of glass under the front wheels that they gotta smash. It's super common for the first time for someone to drop in for them to not never even get their front wheels on the ground. They'll manual down the transition or they'll, they'll drag their tail down the transition, which is super dangerous to do if you don't have someone sitting there and assisting you. I urge you to try your hardest to fall forward. I've taught literally a thousand people how to drop in and I've never once seen anyone fall forward while dropping in. So bending your knees is a very important tool for this for not slipping out. The more you bend your knees, the looser your body is. The more stiff that you are with this, that's when you're gonna get into trouble. That's when you have less escape routes for getting out of injuries. The more your body molds to the ramp, the more you mold with the transition, and the easier your body is able to go from transition to flat bottom. Because all of the control in skating any transition at all, really, is having your knees bent and remaining extremely loose. You're already low to the ground if your knees are bent. The lower you are to the ground, the less impact you're gonna take. If you're all stiff and standing up all tall and straight-legged, you're gonna hit the ground hard if you fall. Another thing that we also teach people at Hamish Skateboarding Academy is to reach out to the center of the ramp. Keep your body weight and momentum there. If you're at the top of the transition and you're reaching to the center of the ramp, it's gonna keep all your body weight over your front legs. Keep your body weight forward, your back foot does nothing, and make sure your front wheels hit. Because if your front wheels don't hit, you're gonna fall backwards. If you're not leaning enough forward, you're gonna fall backwards. And if you fall forwards, you just put your hands down and you fall forwards. That's the safest place to fall. You see where you're falling, your hands go down. When you see someone who drops in all the time, it looks very casual and gradual. Your first drop in shouldn't be like slowly going into the ramp. You should be trying to stomp that thing down as fast, as fast as you can. You want your front wheels to hit transition as soon as possible. And it is super counterintuitive because you're like kind of leaning into something that makes you in theory feel like you're gonna loop out. Ironic thing is the only way that you're gonna loop out is if you overthink it too much. Just put all your weight forward, stomp your front foot down, lean your shoulder into the ramp, and that's basically it. You should be able to ride away the first time. I will say the amount of people that I've seen drop in first try is significantly less than the amount of people that I've seen slip backwards first try. So I cannot stress this enough put all of your body weight forward. Now, why dropping in is not just like an important thing to learn because it's where you start almost all mini ramp runs, but it also helps you understand the way transition works because when you drop in, you're coming from a complete stationary position to actually feeling the exact amount of speed that you would gain from the top of the ramp into transition. It also shows you like the feeling of kind of like not going down a straight bank because if you go down a straight bank, it's like 
you know the gradual increase of speed, whereas a quarter pipe is like faster and then it tapers out and you go slower. So it's pretty much unlike anything you're going to find in the streets unless you're skating like a backyard pool or some super incredible spot that you should probably send the pin to me and Dale because that's super rare to find like an actual good transition spot that's natural. Dropping in on transition is essentially the flat ground ollie of skateboarding transition. You have to learn it first. I've met people who've learned rock to fakie first. Like they learn how to like do a rock to fakie before they learn how to drop in and it just ruined their, their repertoire of tricks. So start off properly, start off with dropping in. And having the feeling of starting at the top of the ramp and going to the bottom of the ramp, it's gonna make it that much easier for you to understand going up the ramp to do like an axle stall or even like a air. Dropping in and understanding that feeling and the way that gravity pushes you into the ground is gonna help you with pumping, it's gonna help you with doing airs, it's gonna help you with doing grinds. Dropping in is actually like much wider than just starting your mini ramp run. It's a board feel that translates into almost every type of skateboard. I've been teaching people how to skateboard for a long time, but a lot of my more fine-tuned like knowledge of teaching people how to drop in or skateboard tricks in general is kind of bouncing ideas across uh, 15 other skateboarders that have been doing this as a career at Homage Skateboard Academy. Uh, they've showed me things that I didn't even think about as far as tricks to dropping in. You know, like I would teach people how to drop in, but they really have it down to a science. So if you are looking for like a very, very in-depth one-on-one experience with skateboard uh, tutorials, whether it's in person or some sort of video chat, I would recommend checking out Homage Skateboard Academy.